Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Bulletarian Palace. It's been a while since we've visited these grounds. So there were a few things that I wanted to do here. First and foremost, I wanted to, um... I wanted to kill this... This red-eyed knight that's kind of up at the top of this thing. <laughs> that is such overkill. That's like 800 damage. <laughs> it's so unnecessary. <laughs> but beautiful at the same time. we can add to our collection of crescent moon grass. Yeah, there's treasures there too. And a and a lizard. I was kind of wondering if maybe going into that pit might get me over there. You know there's also oh wait a minute. Hang on a second. Is this a white, a white world thing? Ha <laughs> Open door. So I'm wearing the cling ring and the ring of devout prayer so that I can have the extra, the extra miracle attuned. Which means in order to put on the thief ring, I have to give up the cling ring. All's fair in the game of lizard killing. I'm sure, we get this. What is this? These are like black phantom dreglings. <laughs> Good for crescent moon grass. Soldiers. These poor unknown soldiers. Like, they gave up their lives and nobody even knows who they are. Philip, Martin, Saul, Bobby, and Felix. Lizard. Up, up on here. They like this tree over here. I'm sure it's like not reachable, but I really like that they put a tree there. <laughs> I don't know why. Good job, whoever drew that tree. Or modeled that tree. I can't get up on here, huh? that they're black phantom dragglings. Looks like they all dropped that grass, too. Fortunately, I don't really need that grass anymore. It's a bit too, 
too weak for the length of my life bar now. Although, not wearing the cling ring, it is still kind of useful. I'm listening. I'm listening. like a cloth hood. A normal hood. Binded cross gloves, boots, and a master's ring. Do you already have the master's ring? Uh, yeah, I already had this ring. Critical hit. Ring. Looks like it might have been a woman, which means the armor hopefully is wearable. Female only. A pointed hood which covers the entire head. It's made of bits and pieces of scrap cloth. In Boletaria, it is the equipment of an executioner, especially Executioner Meralda, who is known for her lunacy and her beautiful voice. Cloth and leather. Leather. <laughs> leather. Leather straps are wrapped around the width and breadth of the armor. An elegant... oops. Bind gloves. Binded boots. Okay. Executioner Meralda known for her lunacy and beautiful voice. Let's take a look. What does it stack up? It is heavier. It puts me over... Like, right now, I'm under 25%. This would put me over 25%. And I heard... can't really tell. If I can't tell, I'm gonna switch the armor. like a slope down to death. Yes, I would say that's death. Oh. Interesting. That is that pit with the glowy, like, souls kind of floating around it. Resistance. Just kind of hanging corpses. Wait a minute. How do I get that? Uh, there's treasure down at the bottom. Let me grab that. How am I going to get onto that rafter? I see. There's a break in the rafter right there. Unless I can grab it here. Looked a 
those bodies. These people that Executioner Meralda executed. God, 17 pounds? A piece of the old armor, owned from long ago by the Boletarian royal family. It especially holds off flames. It's known as Bior of the Twin Fangs' equipment. As it is tremendously heavy, stamina regeneration is largely impaired. It's so heavy I can hardly carry it. Ooh, it's unisex. But so heavy. This has got to be a secret door. after watching that ladder climb. Alright. Here we go. Oh, like a pro. a good find. Okay, screw this place. <laughs> We're just evacuating. Yes, please. Let's see how much better does it make it. it Add seven, and it actually improves the scaling, too. Oh, well. It improves the scaling, which in turn adds seven. That's actually not a lot. It's not as much as I was hoping it would do. Considering I have, like, something like 35 faith right now. It's not really a big improvement. Seven points. I can upgrade. Oh, I got a shield. I didn't even see this. Particularly good at fending off flame-type attacks. So the brushwood armor has is really heavy, it has good fire damage and good defense. Be your twin fangs. Well... Are there any other special items I was interested in? There's those, those punching items, like the, the fists of god or whatever. There's the gripless, was colorless. There's the magic sword, Makoto, was colorless. And I think I'm gonna do this one. Oh, there was also the Isterel, which had plague and poison. But I'm kind of done with World 5. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one, I guess. Yeah, so the, the pure white events in each world I've been into so far have been an NPC that, be, that appears that you can talk to, and like an, an, an area that opens, like a door that opens, or a passage, or a ladder that appears. So that takes care of one of those. So I'm assuming that somewhere on this level there's going to be an NPC that appears too.
Okay, night. Yeah, how hard you are now. <laughs> Answer, not very. Missed a treasure. this. What is this building? Nothing, nothing telltale about it other than the door. Uh, maybe killing that knight would open the door or give me the item to open the door. saw this. Do I have to land on the ledge? No, it looks like it's it's low enough. I'll be able to retrieve it. Crossbow wooden bolts. than I expected to do in here, actually. Let's get out of here. So next up is World 3. We're gonna go back to Latria. Alright, this world looks kind of amazing. There's that, like, giant spider web. That is... Like a rolled up snake. Looks kind of like snake skin. Maybe like a, yeah, like a ball, like a coiled ball of snakes. You're very high up. Gargoyle with a weapon. Big pillar of flame. God. There's so much to look at. <laughs> I don't know where to look first. Alright, let's go to this torch here. these kind of flappy gargoyles. There's another one of those kind of light gold towers. I don't trust anything gold. I know the boss is supposed to be. It's supposed to be gold. Oh, I angered one. Terrible place to fight. It was weird. <laughs> ah, beautiful. What a good idea. Let's fight here. Looks 
like I dropped down from there to there. Let's get this way. There's treasure all over. Hi. Kind of derpy. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Alright, so far it's been just a straight shot. Not seeing any other way to go. Oh my god, there's a lot of these things. and around it. Just wanted to hug. Okay, so we're in the building with the giant snake thing. up. Some treasures. Definitely seems to be the magic themed level. souls pretty consistently. crossbow. It just shot a crossbow bolt at me, and then ran away. No. Back. Jerk. Fire you go. Look at their faces. Oh, they've got like nails in them. Got like, somebody attacked them with a nail gun. Let's see if we can 
hit this thing. The view over there a moment ago. Hmm. Guess I need to kill it from elsewhere. back to you later. How do I get up onto that ledge? There was a treasure there. Look on the ledge. Let's see if I can, like, hop down here and... Nope. Need to get down... Like, around the corner there. Oh, I think maybe it's that ledge right there. I need to get onto that. Um, maybe up there. There's more gargoyles. Use this thing. down there, but I don't think I can get to it now. It overhangs. that way. There's a ledge there, but again, it looks like I would slide right up. Oh, there's one under me. If I hit that one, I think I'll slide right off of it. The one down there could be landable. I know if I jump out that far, I'll die. I think. Oh yeah, and there's treasure right there. Okay, that's got to be landable. Yeah. Ooh, rune, sword, and shield. Sword has magic attack that's interestingly not scaled on intelligence or faith. He gilded sword crafted with exquisite design. 
Its physical attack power is close to non-existent, but it is strongly magically enhanced and also protects its wielder from magic attacks. It is the weapon of the legend of the legendary with its paired rune shield. It is a legendary weapon with its paired rune shield. Shield. 60 magic defense. Kind of base hit resistance. Gilded shield with exquisite design, strongly enhanced with magic, it protects the user from magic attacks. It is the weapon of the legendary hero who used the shield with its paired rune sword. There we go. There's a hero known for using these. circle here. Not a different break. It's a different break. Okay. Let's get us back to the stairs. Alright, we are plus one rune sword and shield. With they both have magic defense. Go this way. Bonk. Oof, right in the face. I have a lot of souls to use. Coward. Fight me. Come on, Kay. There we go. It's getting further away from this thing. Flamberge was that kind of, like, twisty sword. Uh, <laughs> I don't like my odds here. Okay. A unique large sword with a rippled blade, so named because of its shape resembling a flame. The blade is made for rending flesh and forces the letting of large amounts of blood. It is known especially as a weapon that easily causes mortal wounds. So it's got bleeding on it, clearly. <laughs> Which they just said like three different ways. Kind of nasty. Nasty look to it. Another rune sword. What does that have for its... Long sword move set. Interesting that all of these gargoyles have soldier souls in them. Like, I wonder if when the king came back with his demon army, if they, um, when the king came back with his demon army, if they somehow, like, turned the, the Latrian army into gargoyles or something.
This doesn't seem dangerous at all. Looks like we're going up some stairs. And yeah, because they do, they, they all have souls, like, almost, almost to a man, they're dropping souls. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was about to say. Of course, as soon as I say it, they're not going to. We're going... De oh. Path ends here. Lift and an enemy. Oh, you made me miss my stop. He, he's so pleased with himself. Get off of me. Going down. Okay, on that side. Somebody has... Those are not mine. They're not the ones I dropped. I'll get to guidances over there. chain. With magicians. I want to go. Where, where is it that I'm ultimately trying to get to? What looks like the most obvious end structure here? Well, I mean, the thing with the giant, the giant snakeskin ball in it, I guess. Oh. We are going to be on top of the, top of the map here. Ah. I just got a prison of hope key. Second floor west cell key. Is that for Oh, that's gotta be for, for Lord Ridiel. That must be how I unlock Lord Ridiel. Alright, here we go. There's gotta be a way to break this. So is that the building with the with the ball in it? This chain is going into it. Must be able to break this somehow. Go back down to the bottom. It's good though that I got that key. are like making the chain strong. Oh, swat at it. Oh. Cut 
cutscene. Okay, just a second ago during that cutscene, it looked like that ball had like a hand coming out of it that was gripping one of the it was gripping one of the columns. Uh, which way was it? I guess here. Pretty sure it had an arm coming out of it that was holding a column. Dark Souls 1, those lifts were like shortcuts. Okay, so I'm getting slowly back to that ball. Does it have an arm that I can see? See, doesn't that look kind of like a... kind of like a hand right there that's like... it's got fingers wrapped around that column? And, and over there, too? I should probably take this. It's okay. Down. Got the other one going up. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so we've unlocked a, a shortcut somewhere. Ooh, we're going way down into the a swamp. Another swamp. Oh, man. Uh, I have the poison items equipped. I don't really want to go back up there. Oh! Centipede. Some kind of tentacle coming out of the swamp. I wanted to see what these Augites of Guidance were, were marking. You're... That's the armor I wanted. See his, his face. Have a head under there. Eh. Are you here to fight the demons? If so. Then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. Awesome. Thank you. I will remember this. I am certain we will meet again. Oh, I get a badass guy on my side using a shotel and a dagger. I see his face so bad. I will rip I am so Okay, so apparently he's gonna like probably help me with the boss fight. How do we get out of here? Oh jeez, he just scared the heck out of me. Um
Yeah, there we go. Another elevator. making like an animation like I'm doing damage to it kind of I don't want to get out of this water somewhere there we go stairs you I have two faces God. Well, I always hate to do this kind of in the middle of levels, but I've got to cut this video short. It's starting to run really long. So I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to log out right here. And then, in the next episode, I'll, I'll just pick up right in the middle of this level. So, until I, until I see you again, guys, keep the secret. Hope you're enjoying the series, and I will, uh, I'll try to get that next video out as soon as possible. Bye, guys.